You want to drink some whiskey? Hi, thanks for tuning back in. I'm Grim. And I'm Red. This is your home for whiskey reviews, worthless opinions, and wry humor. Did you... <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> I, d I, d I went there. <laughs> it's so for the record. <laughs> this is our first rye whiskey that we're trying on the channel. I can't believe you've done this. Rye. W-R-Y. Yeah, rye. I know. Rye. I know. Twisted humor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, this is so your home for wordplay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so I forgot to say that we are worth a dram, but obviously you know that. Hopefully, I did say that this is our first rye whiskey. This is also our first Canadian whiskey. Yes, uh, and it's my first rye whiskey ever. Ooh, this is this is a first for me. Ooh, and I'm you're, so wait, hold on. You've told me before that you don't like rye whiskeys. So if you haven't had a rye. Well, no, it's it's not that I don't like it, it's just that I don't know if I like it. Oh, okay, all right. Um, so, like I said, these are from our great red brethren of the north. That is true. The homeland of Captain Kirk and Milk in a Bag. Yes. Uh, milk in a Bag. Yeah, that's right. They have Milk in a Bag yeah. up there. Yep. Also, they, they also have snow up there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I talk sometimes good. Why use <laughs> many words? <laughs> Oh. Anyway, so, like I said, we're, uh, today we're getting into Pendleton 1910. So we are actually, we're breaking our normal habit of skipping, like, the, the entry yeah. expression of a whiskey, because there is just, a pe like, a Pendleton Canadian blended. Um, when I went looking for that, they didn't have it, but my grocery store had a really, really good deal for the Pendleton 1910, and nice. the bottle just looked really, really pretty. It is cool. I like the... We'll get a close up later, but there's yeah. all this like embossing and, and glass work. There's, there's a lot of glass side, work it's on the side of this, and it, it caught my attention. Yeah, and I happen to like Pendleton, yeah. um, and I happen to like rye whiskeys, so yeah. I was like, Yeah, why not? Nice, uh, you know, I'm in the market as it were for whiskey in general, and I saw it and I had money at the store, and I <laughs> and so you bought <laughs> so it, so I bought it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> why, why are you why are you in the market for whiskey? I don't know, some hobby that I started. <laughs> um, so Pendleton is a 100% rye whiskey. It is 100% rye. Uh, it's, and that's fairly rare. You don't normally find 100% rye whiskeys out there. I don't want to, I don't want to use it's the word rare. Sort of. Uncommon. Uncommon. Uncommon, Uncommon is a better word than rare. If it was, if you're playing an MMO, it would not be like, you know, you wouldn't be... Stoked that you got the drop, but it would still be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Did, um, I, did I just lose some subscribers for us? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> um, so just for a little bit of backstory about Pendleton. So, uh, distilled in Canada and distributed by uh, Hood River Distilleries here in the States in Oregon. Yeah. Uh, shipped out of Oregon. So they, they buy it from a uh, from Canadian distiller. Um, and they do various blends. Um get the flavors and variations that they want, different aging that they want. But they actually cut it with um, water from the rivers coming down from Mount Hood, hence Hood River Distillers. That makes sense. So, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, as Grim mentioned, there are four four rules that make a rye whiskey a rye whiskey. Um, it has to be Everything. at least 51% uh, rye in the mash bill. Um, and as we stated, this is 100%. Mm, yeah, I know. Are you going to do the sad music again? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I know that one didn't do it for you. Uh, has to be at least 51% rye yeah, in the mash bill. Um, what did you do with the jigger? I put it right here. Uh, it has to be Thank distilled you. to no more than 160 proof. Um, aged in new, char oak, new charred oak barrels similar to bourbon. Um, and then it can't be bottled at any more than 120 five proof um so four rules again you, as you mentioned a little bit similar to bourbon the one i couldn't find um so i don't know i don't think it's an actual rule is bourbon you can't add any flavors or anything like that that's correct um couldn't find the same rule for rye whiskey um so it, that's gonna stick just to those four rules again very similar to, mm -hmm. to the way bourbon is 
So Pendleton is named for uh, one of the oldest, if not the oldest and most prestigious rodeo uh, in the West, uh, which I always thought was pretty cool. And if you look at some of their bottles, I'm pretty sure they have a um, guy hanging out on a horse, you know, like riding a horse. Yeah, on their uh, their standard blend. Yeah. I've seen that. That's like their logo. Um, so this is aged, this particular blend is aged 12 years in new charred oak barrels. Um, that is probably where... All of that color comes Yeah. From. That is very dark. Mm. Yeah, you're right. That is. Oh. So for being 100% rye, it's not as spicy on the, on the nose as I would have so, expected. This being my first rye, uh, you guys are on a journey with me here. Uh, you're on a journey with me as well, but there's a Yeah, I can't get off there's, there's... at this point. <laughs> 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 it wasn't until you made the fab like gosh. <laughs> I was going to try and just let her go, but I couldn't. We all have that trouble sometimes. Wow. <laughs> I get just like spices. Just. Yeah, which, I mean, you should. Yeah. Um, on the nose, though, so, I mean, I would have expected the scent to be spicier yeah to be a little more sharper and it's yeah. not it actually smells really really smooth for um a, for a hundred percent rye that's yeah surprising and i get um oak right off the bat so we have four children on the other side yeah. of that wall not sure if you can hear them we can hear them yeah uh, uh they're having fun that's definitely coming through yeah yeah they're having some fun for sure yep but this being your first rye i'm yeah? Yeah, go please go ahead. Do you want to watch? <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Huh. There's that. Yep. That rice spice. Definitely get the spice. That was the first thing I hit. When it, so mine when came it hit in my mouth was Mine came in after. Yeah. It was like a it was like a tingly spicy. Again, I, for a hundred percent. That's uh, the Woodenville spicier than that. Mm -hmm. So the Woodenville, I think, was twenty-two percent rye, and you, you're telling me wrong, hundred percent. Yeah, uh, I get maybe a little bit spiciness, uh, fruity flavor in there. A little bit. So I'm I can't I can't really nail down a fruity flavor. It's definitely had it has a sweetness to it. It's not overpowering. Yeah. Um, right at the end, though. And I don't mean spicy like, oh, muy, muy caliente. I mean, muy. like, muy, muy. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Wow. I am not a native Spanish speaker. Uh, <laughs> I mean, really? Really? Look at you. I mean. Really? <laughs> uh, I mean, have you seen the guy that owns El Guero? Yeah. I mean, he's a, he's a ginger, but he's a native Spanish speaker. Anyway. Well, that's actually, so that, uh, El Guero Canelo? Yeah. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, I forgot that, it, I watched the video when we were there eating. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a uh, restaurant here in town that makes Sonoran hot dogs. If you're on the East Coast and you don't know what those are yet, Google them. Look it up. Because they are delicious. Delicious. Um, anyway, so I'm pretty sure that the transla translation for the name of that restaurant is like the Blonde Mexican. Yeah. I pretty think much, so. yeah. I, yeah. So I am not a native Spanish speaker. So no. when I say spiciness, I don't mean like... Spicy, like I just put hot sauce on my burrito. No, that's I mean, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, like spices, like, like, spi like you open up your spice cabinet and you're hit with that I, smell of. When I say spicy, I mean the same kind of spicy that you would get from ginger or cinnamon. Yeah. Like it's not, it's not that capsaicin. Both names that my wife calls me. <laughs> <laughs> Why does she call you cinnamon? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Clove. That's the spicy that you're. Yeah. I can smell it. It's definitely on yeah. the nose. It's a. It's. Oh, man, that is. Now that I know it's there. I'm gonna smell my mostly empty glass. Yeah, clove for sure. I was almost gonna reach for my second glass. I can't touch it yet though. No. It's forbidden. Well, why don't we do the first ever weird cut from the beginning? Ooh. So here comes a weird cut. How do we come back from a weird cut if we start 
with a weird. You, we don't acknowledge it. Oh, okay. It's been about uh, 15 minutes with these resting. That's it. Yeah, about 15. 15? Um, man, I don't know if I'm... Yeah, that's what I'm... My uh, coaster is a little moist. <laughs> I thought we <laughs> were not... So when I went for the snifferizer... I <laughs> I haven't had time to animate that yet. Although it is, it'll be three weeks it'll since be, that comment weeks. has been made. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully I have it done. I mean, it's, it's, up, to, it's up to you. Right. If it's done, it'll be right there. <laughs> if not, I'm sorry. I was just picking up wet wood. <laughs> <laughs> From the coaster. I'm sure. <laughs> Um, you know, it doesn't smell as spicy as it, to me as it did before. No. I get a little bit more of uh, the oak coming through. Um, I don't. No? Nope. It could just be the wet wood that's in front of me still. <laughs> that is... Just uh, screwing up my nose. That is not made of oak. It's not. Nope. It's, I think it's Nordic cherry. <laughs> That's not accurate either. No, you're right. I get a little bit less spiciness. I do get, I think, a little bit more of the oak coming through. Maybe not. Hey, no, I'm I'm not saying that. You, I'm not telling you you're wrong. I don't I'm know just saying I'm, I don't get it. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna reset here. I don't remember if I got it on the first glass though. Yeah, I don't remember getting it on the first glass either. But it's actually a good idea. Hydration is never a bad idea. No, hydrate. So I've got nothing. I've got nothing left to say about. The I reset my scent. snifferizer. I got. I can't stop now. I am I so reset sorry. My nose. I reset this is my, my fault. Nose. I've done this. I reset my nose. I got um, less spice for sure, and I'm not getting that oak anymore. So I do think it was. And granted, these wet wood coasters are not oak. These are some kind of pine. We're gonna have to reevaluate all of your reviews now <laughs> if you think that that smells like oak. I was getting wood flavor. How about that? Can we just say wood? <laughs> wood flavor. I was. I was smelling wood. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember Uncle Joey? I do. <laughs> From Full House. Did somebody Cut say wood? <laughs> when he had the wood <laughs> uh, you know, uh, it's funny. Uh, my grandfather over the CB, because he used to live way up in the mountains, New Hampshire. Yeah. Over the CB, his handle was woodchuck. And then when I was younger, mine they called me woodchip. There's no joke. This is just this is me oh, I reminiscing. Was, I was waiting for a joke. No, there's no that's joke there. That's pretty cool though. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Sorry, I should say, like you've known me long. I really should start things like, I'm not joking I'm right not. now. <laughs> At the time, it was one of your buddies. He didn't know me yet, and he asked me like what I like to do, and I told him I like to make paper mache dinosaurs <laughs> out of Playboy magazines. That's the first thing that came to my mind when I just <laughs> said what I said was that story. And he just you had him going. Yeah, he thought. It, yeah, he thought. He thought that was legit. You're like, oh wow, that's that's that's. He was like, all right, man, you do you. And I'm sitting there, I, like, I know, we do we, I, we do we, <laughs> and I know you were being serious, and I was caught up in the story, like <laughs> I was sitting there going, oh man. So anyway, all right. So come back around. I don't have much more to say about the scent here. No. So uh, I reset my nose, um, which you can do by just kind of smelling yourself, like. Smell your armpit. Not my armpit, your elbow pit. <laughs> it's easier to get to than your armpit. Anyway, you can you can use that. It's an old wives trick. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> Listen, so everything much. you read on the internet is true. Everything. <laughs> uh, but I it's the same. A little bit less spiciness. I'm not getting that wood. That would no. If, any I, if anything, like I, I feel like the scent is which, just which muted. I, I'm actually surprised. This being aged 12 years in oak barrels, that I'm not getting any oak. And maybe it's just because 100% rye. It's just clobbering the rest of it. But you would think. But if you would think though that if with if that were the case, that you would be getting all those rye spices on the yeah. scent. But everything just feels kind of muted after yeah. sitting. No, I agree. Um, so I think there's time to taste. Let's do it. Time to taste. Yeah. Mm. 
A lot more fruit flavor. Yeah. A lot sweeter. That rye has kind of dissipated a little bit. That spiciness has kind of yep. dissipated a little bit. Yep. So before on the first glass where I got that kind of like a like a creeping tingle from front to back. <laughs> I, had I not paused, you probably wouldn't have laughed at that at all. Uh, so that creeping tingle isn't there anymore. In fact, the tingle is not—it's not there at all. Yeah. Still a little bit, like a little bit of the of the bite, the burn, but I think that's more. That's just the alcohol. Yeah. Um, I definitely get a lot more fruit. Um, I don't know if it's appley. Maybe, but definitely like a deep red apple. Yeah. Nothing mild like a yellow or kind of sharp. Yeah, nothing like, like green. a yeah, just a apple-y. Just a little. I mean, just very very subtle. Yeah. So this being my first rye, mm -hmm. I definitely um, I enjoy it. It's a different flavor though. It's not something. It's not. I'm used to bourbons, Irish whiskey, scotches, and this is new. Like this mm -hmm. is um, not something that I've had before, and not really something I can compare to any of those other flavors and those other whiskeys. Um, no. So it's it's definitely interesting, and um, I definitely want to keep going down the rye, the rye journey. Um, I think this would be a great starter for somebody who's looking like like me. This is my first rye whiskey. Yeah. Uh, I think this would be a great starter. Um, only it's it's uh, smooth. There's not a lot of bite to it. Um, you get some of those uh, fruit flavors in there. Um, after letting it sit. After letting it sit, the fruit, so, fruit's a little bit more forward. Yeah, so they weren't really distinguishable on the first glass, but after letting it rest for about 15 or 20 minutes, like yeah. those fruit flavors really, really come to the forefront, and you lose a little bit of that rye spice. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely different, um, and it's something I want to I want to keep exploring for sure. Okay. Um, which, I'm in the right place for that. You sure are. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what? I, I think that this would mix really well. I like it neat. I like it neat a lot. Um, what would you make a rye tack? This would make actually yeah. So I do like I like whistle pig for a rye tie, but that kind of yeah. makes for an expensive rye tie. Yeah. This would be a great compromise. What was thirty five, forty? Yeah. Uh, so I think uh, the store where I picked it up had it on special for probably about thirty thirty five. Yeah. Yeah. Low to mid thirties. I can't. I can't remember. I really should pay attention to <laughs> what I spend my money on. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you compare it to something like Whistle Pig, I know Whistle Pig is a little bit. So yeah, I'll tell you. Price I'll tell you this though, like the rye flavor itself. So like the rye spice is there, but the rye flavor is kind of muted. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a good in, this is a good introduction to, to a rye whiskey, but I don't think it's indicative of rye whiskeys. Yeah. Um, I've had uh, other ryes that are just like yeah. Not well, spicy, but like you get that that rye flavor, like you're eat, like pure rye. Yeah, you know. Well, we picked that up in the Woodenville. You know, that was only twenty two percent yes. rye. Yeah, but we could taste that right off the bat. Yes, um, which is like it's it's funny comparing like the twenty two percent rye in a bourbon. Yeah. To a hundred percent rye, rye here in this whiskey. Yeah, and I wonder it's probably something to do with the blending because um, this is a blended. Rye whiskey could be, um, yeah. And then to get it from 160 proof down to 125 proof, they actually cut it with water from the river coming down from Mount Hood. Hood River. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's Hood. Well, I mean, Hood River Distillery. That probably makes sense. Just I'm connecting dots live, <laughs> live on show right now. Do you want me to do that, that mathematic equation thing? I like? think you should. <laughs> Yeah, no, now I actually really am interested to see how this would mix. Um, I'm sure it would be very, very good. I, th I would recommend this for sweeter cocktails. Yeah. Fruity mixes, fresh fruit. I'd say, you know, like a, a squeeze half of a lemon. Um, so uh, I'll tell you what, we'll post the, we'll post the recipe on the blog for uh, a rye tie. And it's usually half of a fresh lemon, a little bit of pineapple juice, and orgeat. I don't know if, uh, the pronunciation for orgeat, but it's an almond-based sweet syrup. I've tried a rye tie with and without, and I yeah. can't do it without now. Really? It adds just that little something-something. I don't know that I've ever... This is an episode of first for me. I don't know if I've ever heard of that before. No? No. So I'll, I'll be honest with you. I hadn't heard of it until I found the, the recipe for a rye tie. Yeah. And then I couldn't find it locally. I had to actually order it online. Hmm. 
There's nothing in that glass. No. <laughs> I was I was waiting to see if you got anything. No, I didn't. But I was going to try mine. Yeah, there's nothing. you got some. There's nothing. I might try it anyway. Uh, Ooh, I, got, I got a little bit. Look. Jelly. So final thoughts, like, would I recommend this? Oh, I would. I would. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What and not just for not just as, as an introductory to rye. It's actually a very very smooth. Yeah, drink we of we kind of focus on that because because this is my first rye whiskey. Yep. But I mean, it was tasty regardless of if you're new to rye. I think if you are not new to rye, I think it would be good. You you should probably take that more than. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just I I'm stuck on regardless. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I have learned my lesson. I can't speak the English language after a few drinks. Personally, I have other rye whiskeys that I like, so I probably wouldn't keep this stocked. Yeah. But but it is very very nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, definitely good. I think it's got a good flavor it, it, right from the bottle or sitting. Um, you know what? I'd actually good. I'd recommend right from the bottle because yeah. you get more of that rye. You do get a lot more, um, of that spice. and it, that kind of takes a back seat after you let it sit. So yeah. if you buy a rye whiskey, you want the rye flavor. Um, so I'd say I yeah, there's no there's no need to let it sit. Yeah. So yeah. So whatever we decided goes in the panel now. Oh yeah, because we re- haven't decided yet. Yeah, we're retooling the channel. Well, I guess this would be the episode after we decide. Yeah, so full disclosure, we obviously film multiple episodes in a day. You can probably tell every other episode gets a little <laughs> bit sloppier. Because, yeah. There's a reason for that. <laughs> just just send us off. Hey, <laughs> I'm, I'm I Red. Knew, I, knew it, I knew it was coming. <laughs> and I'm Grim. This is Worth a Dream. Reminding you, like, subscribe, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And... With us, no matter how you like your whiskey is the right way. That's an empty glass. That's an empty glass. (laughs) (laughs) Just empty toast, everybody.